Hey guys, Father Time here. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, click on my face down there in the corner, over there, and uh, subscribe and like the video if you like it. Um, you can use the support. It's just for motivation. Don't really make any money on this thing, uh, but I sure do have fun. I'm kind of my retirement project when I retire from American Airlines in September. Today is January 25th, by the way. It's sort of to mentor guys via this and uh, Discord. Uh, really appreciate all the support you guys give me. What a great community. You guys are great. Um, I love it. Um, anyway, ready to fly. Today, we're going to go from JFK to LaGuardia, and I'm going to try to use the FSI programming. FSI Panel 2020 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I know that they have it also for P3D. I'm going to open it up. It's a separate icon. I just tried to do this, and both engines failed on takeoff, so I aborted. And there was no failures on this one. So, anyway, let me explain. So, I opened it up. All you have to do is you have to get yourself onto the runway. And then you have to have, with engines running, for this day, we're going to do JFK to LaGuardia. We used to do this in the 7573 Super 80 to move aircraft, relocate aircraft between Kennedy, LaGuardia, Kennedy, Newark. Uh, and there were short little flights. Back before 9 11, we could fly over New York City and smoke over at, uh, 250 knots, looking down at the city. It was fun. Uh, after 9-11, they're not so crazy about that anymore. Um, so we're going to use this FSI panel. It's a great training aid that was developed by this guy named JP, who will be there if you need him. Um, so here we go. Set up. Uh, here we go. It knows we're at Kennedy. knows we're in 31 left. It knows we're in the Mad Dog. Uh, we called it the Super 80. We had MD-82s, 83s. Delta called it their md 88 the Mad Dog. Um, initial setup. You want to uh, auto-tune next frequency, which is great. So you, when, when, you, when we do this profile, this scenario from JFK to LaGuardia, JP's got it set up so the, fre the next frequency is already tuned. You're just going to switch it over. I uh, want that. Enable push to talk, which is just like that sim on the mic switch. Uh, the way you do that is you select the button, Boeing yoke, click it. Oh, it's number one. Push that. That's good. Uh, say again button. So they repeat the instructions. Select the button. I'll use my hostess stick and press my F2 key on my hostess. Up oh, number two, and you've got them set. Uh, I do voice and text, not just voice, so I can see it um, for the hearing impaired and the incompetent, such as myself. Um, Turtle Beach uh, Stealth. That's my headset. That's good. Uh, up at the top, license information. There it is. Troubleshooting options. We just on that. On the options, you can change. Your, uh, when you position yourself, let's say uh, you wanted to do a right downwind, uh, you could position yourself using downwind. How wide do you want to be? Uh, I think the, the default is like three miles, which is not, it's too tight on a jet. Uh, really, you need like five or six. So there's eight miles and put whatever altitude you want. And then uh, vectors, what kind of a downwind, what kind of sh final, short final uh, is one of the scenarios. Is they had three, I think, or four. I put in five and ten. I think they had four and eight. Uh, anyway, however you want it. Units, statue miles, and pounds. And uh, i got to study these things. Don't really know. Uh, you can take snapshots, just like in the sim. In the sim, we didn't do pre-flight, taxi out, take off. Pre-flight, taxi out, take off approach. Pre no, we did one of those. Then they, they beam us to maybe a base leg or final or short final. They take snapshots. So you're able to do that in this thing. Very cool. Uh, this is good with these. This is I bought the advanced edition about fifty dollars, so uh, I can do advanced uh, scenario on malfunctions, which is really cool. Um, There's uh, all all different kind of things you can do. The uh, Mad Dog MD82 Phoenix A320 and PMG G73 fleet can do all these scenarios. The you can use this for positioning. For all of the Microsoft Flight Simulator Premium Edition aircraft, use of training. I'm hoping the MD-11, which I'm a uh, quality assurance flight tester guy for them, uh, they're able to get uh, into these training scenarios. You can do some cool uh, cargo scenarios. In the PMGT 777, they haven't used me yet, but they did invite me to be part of their testing team. Uh, and it is January 25th, 2024, so maybe they're never going to call me. Um, I hope they get on here too. They, but the fact that their seven threes are on here leads me to believe they'll be able to use that here, no problem. Uh, okay, setups, positions, sim controls, training, and 
That's it. Okay, let's go training. And there, I had just tried that. I told you both engines fl fl flamed out. So here's failures, guys. Um, yeah, they, I, I never terminated the previous one. Uh, let's say you want to do an engine fire, left engine, left engine. You can do it at whatever altitude you want. Type it in. Okay. I'm going to cancel it. Don't want that. Um, if you do it when the gear comes up, the flap comes up, all these things. Um, go back. Cargo fire. Whatever altitude you want. Indicated airspeed. Uh, so if you're a, a content creator like myself or just a guy who really wants immersion, um, you can preset all this stuff and have it happen for you. It's really cool. And you can see it's a fairly extensive uh, group of uh, highly advanced uh, malfunctions. TCAS resolutions, random failures, landing gear. You got it. All that stuff. Very cool. But here today we're going to do, I don't know much about this. Uh, you can watch JP's videos. We're going to do a training scenario. We're going to do JFK, the ones in green you've downloaded. Remember, I, the weather was already in the preset weather because I downloaded it. Uh, you can check the lesson plan. In the lesson plan, you can review the lesson for that day. Each uh, scenario has a lesson. Didn't want to go there. You can join the, his Discord, subscribe to YouTube, Facebook, click there. Uh, runway 31 left, engines running. Uh, the weather preset is FSI JFK LaGuardia number two, and that was in there uh, on the on the page at the beginning um, for the weather. Aircraft weight and fuel. It's uh, if the selected aircraft offers full cockpit pre preparation functionality, FSI panel automatically configure everything for you. Uh, for or, or aircraft without this feature, you need to set up the cockpit manually. Well, and uh, and sign in the Simbri flight plan button on the setup scenarios page. We already did that. Uh, FMS, this is our clearance, 31 left. I know I'm talking fast. Uh, sorry about that. JFK 5, Canarsie Climb, and the ILS to 4 over at LaGuardia. Uh, let's take a look at that. We're going to go flights, JFK. We're going to go SID, Kennedy, Move that over, you can see it. Canarsi climb is right here. You take off on 31 left, left hand turn over Canarsi and out the 176 down this way. That'll all be loaded in there for us when we go. There's a narrative up there. Uh, I will show you one thing the taxi right now, 20 9. You can see that we have the airplane. When JP's, uh, when FSI panel's program loads, I won't get that airplane. So you won't have that benefit when you're taxiing. Uh, at least I didn't last last flight. Um, disable all failures. There's, there's failures or surprises. This this one and the lesson instruction says there's no failures in it. But I'm sure there's a surprise. I didn't get that far. Uh, open scenarios manager, start training. Let's start training. Okay, so it's gonna you gotta keep your hands off the controls while it loads. side pedal zero zero one. If side pedal zero zero one, runway three one left, clear for takeoff, can I see climb, maintain three thousand feet. FSI zero zero one, clear for takeoff, can I see climb, but maintain three thousand feet. Okay. It's a little bit out of sequence, guys, because I think because I had preloaded it. It's preparing for side pedal zero zero one, runway three if it's side pedal 001, runway 31 left, clear for takeoff, can I see climb, maintain 3000 feet. FSI 001, runway 31 left, clear for takeoff, can I see climb, maintain 3000 feet. Um, you, you can take your time going after that. That went on twice, guys, that's not typical. That did that twice because of the um, fact that I had just tried it and it flamed out on takeoff. So I think it, it was, I never shut it down. I should have shut the FSI down. Usually it just does that once. Um, release the parking brakes. I think what I want over here is, uh, I think I want the Canarsie. There's the routing. You can see it right there. Canarsie then out the uh, 176 is down here. But they, you can't put, it's not letting me put it in there. And let me go, arc, that's good. Map, quote, okay, good. VOR, I want to show you the box. 
and typically what we would do is build like the Canarsie CRI, but look at this. Like you can't type anything in to alter the flight plan. I would put in the Canarsie 176 at 20, so at least I had a line out there that showed me the radio. You could go this, fix, right, and put in CRI. It's not letting me type anything in here, though. Uh, that has something to do with the FSI panel. Okay, but everything else is set. He, uh, he's even got my flaps, my trim, my green bug, my auto brakes, my spoilers are armed. Nice job. Nice job. Okay. Um, what could go wrong? Let's go. It's a busy little flight. Looking for 1.4. Clint. Should be 1.82 on the Eper. 80 knots. Cross check. It's actually up to max power. Wow. V1, rotate. That's the standby equipment cooling fan going off. That was alarming Positive the first rate. time I heard that. You're up. So we're going to go to uh, Canarsie, then out to 176. There's Nav. Gear up, lights out. All right, let's put the autopilot on for this demonstration. The FSI panel 001, contact now departure on the 135.9er of a safe flight. 135.9, thanks a lot, FSI 001. There's two for three. Autopilot. I'm going to get the flaps up. i got climb power set. Climb thrust two set. Two for three. Flap zero. 35.9. Departure FSI 001 is out of 2,500 for 3,000. FSI panel 001, you're identified. Continue, can I see climb and expect the right turn shortly. Autopilot. Continue, can I see climb, expect the right turn shortly for FSI 001. All right, guys, I'm going to set my uh, heading in 176. And go outbound on the 176. Slats retract. Slats retracted. I'm going to go heading select. The level of the three. And that's heading needs to go a little faster than that. We'll go over there. It looks like it's holding 250. We're turning to intercept the 176 outbound. Nice. All right. Spoilers, let's disarm it. Auto brakes. Just get it set for the Guardia. And here comes the course. I don't know if you guys can even see that. Yeah, in the real airplane, of course, I would have set that up in nav so that it would do it in nav. Tails rising. The FSI panel 001, climb by 4,000 feet, and be advised, runway 04 is not available in LaGuardia. Expect visual on runway 13. I maintain 4,000 for FSI 001. All right, so 4,000 feet is set. It's armed. And there's our 176 course. Very sensitive. Three for four. All right, we're tracking outbound on the 176, climbing three for four. And uh, it is not going to be the river visual. FSI panel 001, turn right on heading 340 and reduce speed 220, 220 knots. Right heading 340, slow to 220 knots for FSI 001. All right, guys, uh, so 220 on the indicated airspeed, 220, and heading select uh, 0340.
Uh, yeah, if that's the river visual to runway 34, yikes. I did runway 13 at, Ken at uh, LaGuardia. That's a lot. That's a lot. So it's not in the database. I think what I'm going to put in is the ILS, ILS to 13. So at least I have some uh, course guidance. And I think I'll even set up the ILS freak. This is the one where you go up the river. See how the, uh, well, it's not going to do that. Uh, approach. If you side panel 001, you can now contact uh, LaGuardia Approach on 120.8. Have a good day. 120.8, have a good day. Uh, FSI 001. Now, this didn't auto tune 120.8. LaGuardia Approach, FSI 001, turning right to 340 at 4000. Officer Padella 001, good morning. You are going to fly continuing 340 and expect a river visual runway 13 in Laponia. Uh, continue turning head in 340, expect a river visual runway 13, LaGuardia, FSI 001. Yeah, this is going to be a handful, baby. You know what I don't know how to do, and I have to figure it out, is uh, get one. Uh, we'll figure it out. I'll talk to you in a minute. Uh, okay, so let me, um, without further ado, put in the ILS freak. <laughs> Don't know why that happened. Um, so let me do this again. Approach ILS flight. Kind of humping here. Kind of humping, baby. Um, we'll get at least we'll get some guidance. This is LaGuardia ILS 13. It'd be nice if I put that in, right? 13. 1085 134. 1085 134. All right, 1085 134 is set. Um, 220, that's close enough, guys. Uh, all right, and um, if we take a look here. We're going to come in from the right, go up the river, make a right-hand turn, fly. Uh, let's take a look at the river visual. River visual, 1-3. All right, so we're out here somewhere, and uh, there we are. We're going to turn right, fly up the river, and then turn up over pa past Central Park, and the Zlinger is the uh, approach there. Don't believe we have river visual in our box maybe we do that'd be cool if it's like zero zero one descend no. three thousand three hundred feet and you are clear river visual runway one three maintain three thousand three hundred feet until the uh, statue until i the statue of liberty please fsi zero zero one descend to three thousand three hundred feet clear the river visual one three maintain three thousand three hundred until the statue um, all right, so I need to set. Yeah, I um, this is how new I am on the airplane. In that, how do you get this thing to go to hundreds? Yeah, you got. I'm holding the tab key, 3,300, and I'm just gonna go vertical speed, and I'll just do a thousand down. All right, guys. So the, if you go up this river right here. It's uh, it's the Hudson. It's where Sully landed, and I can turn right now and get going over there. Yeah, we're going to fly up the river, go around Central Park, and uh, that's it. There's a Statue of Liberty right there. We're going to maintain 3,300 until we're there. This is fun. I imagine that's JP doing all the uh, announcements there. All right, so 3,300 until established. Then I think I'll go down to like uh, uh, probably uh, 2,000.
I've got this uh, nav display all the way down to uh, five miles so I can possibly see what's going on. All right, it's really important you stay over the river. There's 3,300. The Statue of Liberty. I'm going to set the uh, altitude. If you side panel is zero zero one for the descent is approved. Contact now tower on one hundred eight point seven. Understand fully. Further descent is approved and contact tower eighteen seven. Thank you, uh, FSI zero zero one. Eighteen seven. I thought you were supposed to be auto tuning this for me, brother. That's killing me. I'm up here all alone. Eighteen seven. We'll go to your tower, FSI zero zero one on the river visual one three. If you side by that zero zero one tower, very good morning. You are number two for the approach. Continue and in case of go around, climb three thousand feet on the right waiting. Okay, we'll continue the approach in case of uh, missed approach. We'll uh, climb three thousand feet runway heading for FSI zero zero one. There's a uh, Central Park over there, guys. I'm gonna get some slats out. I'm gonna start slowing it way down. As a matter slats of fact, throttle's back. I'm gonna get gear down. A little 255, we can go flaps 11. We should be over the river here. It's for noise abatement. So right here, guys, is you gotta go around the park over here, Central Park. I think I've done this approach twice my whole life. It's just not one of the ones we usually do. Flaps. Flaps 15. Flaps 28. Flaps 40. All right. Start a turn on over around Central Park. And I'm going to actually arm the ILS when we get in here. If this side by the end zero zero one, and we want three, get land. Clear to land runway 13, FSI 001. Clear to land, there's a runway over there, guys. I turn off the autopilot. Autopilot. Arm the spoilers. Arm the auto brakes. What could go wrong, right? There's our glide slope. I'm going to put in the ILS. Yeah, it's not gonna let me do that. I hope I don't get some all these altitude warnings because of it. I'm gonna turn off the flight director on both sides. All right, here we go. I'm just following the uh, glide path here. About five degrees nose high. Don't want to get low. Half a dot low. Usually get a train with the MD80. I don't know why it's a little bit conservative. Get the seat down a little bit. There we go. That's better. Okay, right hand turn off. Second right onto Alpha. Let's get it aligned with the runway. Be nice. All right, so we're on glide slope. I don't have the bazies yet. I'm sure they're out there. I tried to get the ILS to arm, didn't want to do it.
Red over white, looks good. Three Another LaGuardia carrier landing, right? Reverse. Auto brakes are off. 60 knots. FSI Pan one take a second right on Alpha and contact ground 121.7. Wish you a very beautiful day. Uh, second right on Alpha and ground 217. Great day to you to uh, FSI 001. I'm going to clear the runway, see if they change, tuned it for me. Oh, they did. Thank you, guys. In ground, FSI 001 uh, on the ground for gate 47. FSI panel 001, uh, ground, very good morning. Welcome to LaGuardia. Continue on Alpha, and your stand today is, let me check that. You have a stand 47 to do on your left. I wish you a very nice day. Thank you. Okay. Hi, guys. My sim froze up. Um, as I turned on to Alpha to go to the gate, it locked up. It's happened a couple of times. has nothing at all to do with the FSI panel. I couldn't move anything, my mouse, anywhere on the screen, on any other apps or anything. So it had nothing to do with the wonderful FSI panel program. I'm going to keep using it. I am going to publish this video, even though it locked up at the end. Uh, just because there's a lot of good content in there and I need to move on and I'm going to do some malfunctions next. But anyway, thanks so much for all your support. If you wouldn't mind subscribing down there, that'd be great. Click on my face and we'll uh, keep this channel growing. Really appreciate you guys. Father Time's out.